this podcast is gonna blow. <laughs> <laughs> So thanks for tuning in to Now the Fun Starts. Um, today we have Steven, Garrett, and Nathan, the three sweethearts that are meatheads. And fuck boys. <laughs> the sweetheads. The sweetheads. The sweetheads. The sweetheads. You guys ever fucked in a you guys ever fucked in a church? Yes. You have? No. Yeah. No. In LA, right over here, Church of Good Shepherd. You, <laughs> you dropped the name Church of Good Wait, Shepherd. You fuck in fuck. the church or outside the church? So in the nah, So like there's there's the church yeah. and then there's like a little thing that you walk right through and it's like the common area where like everyone goes and like grabs like snacks after church and shit. You like got that. snacks and, then and you, you grabbed the and then, snack. And then there's a bathroom and I got sucked up in there and then I fucked her from the back on the kitchen. On the, on the back. back. Oh, <laughs> from you remember the back. Perfect. Yeah, he's from like the Church of Good Shepherd. Oh, yeah, bro. Up and a Yako, it was great. Did you feel like a dickhead after that? Uh no. That's good. Because then I Jesus was just was like, I, I said a, I said a prayer at communion. It was like God, like <laughs> communion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because you go to church every Sunday. <laughs> I've got nothing. I've got nothing. Got nothing. nothing in that. um, and that's why I go to church. Honestly, is just because like I'm just a big sinner. Up. So I'm like, yo, God, like you know, help me out here. And he just delivers right and there. Then I, and then for me, at least mentally, I'm like, all right, cool, I'm good. Yeah, ask me, Father, for I've sinned. <laughs> I was gonna ask you guys the weirdest place you've had sex. I guess yours would be the church. Yeah. <laughs> to me, that's weird. We're, ask we're him how many women in one day they had sex with. Okay, I'm going to. I, I would will. say <laughs> the weirdest place, maybe the Trader Joe's parking lot. Oh, so that's you have solid. had sex in the parking lot? Oh, yeah. Like in like, the car? or on... In the car, not oh, like okay. just not in the middle of the then. parking lot, like full throttle, that's you know, good. like we were in Love the back that. seat of a car. Love that's that. pretty good. I banged in my elementary school parking lot. That's good. That's so good. I went back to like the kindergarten pen. <laughs> bringing it back to the old days. I banged in I banged in the American Airlines Center in Dallas watching really in a suite, yeah. Or have you, or has anyone joined the Mile High Club? Yeah, plenty. Really? Of no. Yeah. Here, Doug did. So yeah, he did. He did. I know to, he did. On the way what? to Brazil. <laughs> on the way to Brazil. How? How though? I don't understand. I don't. Like, I don't get do how it. you can do uh, it. Unless you're like, like, we had a blanket. Okay, unless you're private. Yeah. private I don't know how. How did you do it? How did you go? Well, the flight was like half full. We had a blanket on. We were like laying down on the three chairs, and I just started just blasting her. And then she gets up, go to the bathroom. She's like, come in in five minutes. I've done this. So then it was just That's, like there, you're just standing yeah. there in the bathroom. You gotta wait till everyone's asleep before you like sneak into the. Yeah, I was like four hours in for sure. Okay. I love that. I would do yeah. that. That's all. I really I just, I just panic. Panic. I've I done panic. the bathroom like three times, and then I did um, like literally. You know how like, they have like four seats in the middle, mm-hmm. kind of like what he was saying. Uh, we were coming back from the Maldives, and it was just super late at night, and like we had like there was a chick who was like right next to us. Put the blanket up, turned sideways, and just started clapping. Oh, she did in the chair. And then the blanket like kind of was slipping off and shit, and like, bro, it was so funny. When she was one point, she was giving me a head under the blanket and just <laughs> fucking bobbing. <just>, like, <laughs> <laughs> Anyone who walked, you just hear clapping, like, everybody wakes up like you're landed. Yeah, oh, you're landed. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, actually, Doug had a good question. How? What's the most you've slept with in a day? Like, as many girls or guys, whatever. Yeah. Huh? Girls or guys? Yeah. Girls or guys? Well, if you've had a three, like say you had like a threesome, maybe. That doesn't count sleeping with the guy, though, right? Okay. Definitely. Well, like, so how many sexual <laughs> account, how many people have like sexual encounters in a day? Three. 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 I'd it. say two. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I had an orgy. Five. Can we please? Can you please ask that question to him? Doug, how many? About his high school story. How many? <laughs> Come on. I wish I could see Doug. Right they now. don't know. They don't know. Like, no one's gonna. This girl is yeah. not gonna watch. Yeah, I mean, She's it was three, and I went unwashed. From the beginning to the end. Okay, but oh who? God, who no, but, but ask him who the disgusting. ask him who the last one was. Ask him who the third one was. Your wife? His girlfriend. <gasps> that was my girlfriend. She is gonna time. watch this. No, no. Oh, okay. The, the th- no. So he slept with two girls. Ago. Okay. And then the th- <laughs> last one in the evening was his legit girlfriend. So, so he cheated on her chick. twice. Oh didn't wash. Went and fucked. What does that mean? He didn't wash. So I took this shower. He didn't wrap. Well, I woke up in the morning. I took this chick to my birthday party at my grandmother's, who I was like fake dating. Took her down to my parents, smashed her, and then left like a few hours later to. Meet this other chick, like an hour away. Fucked her, and then stayed the night at my actual girlfriend's house. And oh my god! You got, you got some high tea. I was gonna say, your tea's through the roof. <laughs> my dick would be done by the end of that one. <laughs> he can go like seven times, like bust. Fuck. Nah. That's bust, like girls. Fuck. Piss. Go. Yeah, like Piss. Solid Shut five up. minute rest, that's and then like I'm girls. good. I know that's like yeah. girls. I think we all know yeah. that. Yeah. For me, once I hit a fat low, bro, like I'm down. Done. I'm done for the tired. Girl. Tired. Hundred percent. You also feel like a. Shithead afterwards. Yeah, like, <laughs> I don't know if I want you in my room anymore, but <laughs> well, cause, cause let's go like, to bed together and then we'll wake up the next day. We'll is, do it again. Have you ever just finished and you're like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> like, you know, okay, you, is this just, true post not clarity? Yes, 100%. To a certain extent. It yeah. Okay, on the so tip. what does that mean? I'm very curious. After you bust a nut, mm-hmm. you are almost regretful that you. 
got in bed with her in the first yes. place, I guess. Wait, why is that, though? Like, why? Because you just all of, like, your testosterone is just released. You know what I mean? It's just gone. So sometimes... <laughs> when you, like, come back to her. Like yeah. You, <laughs> you know, it's... When you, you know, you're like... like uh, uh, yeah. Uh, I just need to get it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Imagine, so around. sometimes when there's like a little bit of a suspect, not suspect girl, but a girl that you're like, okay, she's not bad. It would be great. She could come over. So yeah. sometimes, sometimes she comes over, you finish and you're like, for fuck's sake, why did I invite you over? And other times she doesn't come over. You just crack one out and you're like, thank fuck. That I just yeah. did that. I think it's whenever I, I crack one out, bro. Yeah. That's when I have post nut. Yeah. Because if you just beat one out, you're like, oh, I don't have to deal with her all night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God, that's so yeah, terrible. Yeah. I wonder if a guy's ever felt like that about me. Nah, you're Carly. No, yeah, I was going to say. You're you're Such you're a fucking exception. lie. You're Carly Lawrence. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. Um, I have another question. OnlyFans. Do you care if your girlfriend has OnlyFans? Nope. And is it less attractive I'll to you if a girl does? I'll right off the rip. Absolutely not. Good. Like, what do you okay, mean? Good. Like, yeah. if, as long as she's yeah. not showing her... Kajuki? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're talking about, we're talking about that shit. <laughs> like, I'm cool. If your tits are on there, I don't even care. Like, at yeah. the end of the day, like, yeah, I man. want you to get your bag. And if there's little kids that are at home, like, taking mommy and daddy's credit card and putting them in the phone just to, yeah. like... Take their money. Mm-hmm. Do yeah. it. I, I honestly bad. like me. I say this to you guys all the time. Me being a stripper, I don't give a. F- I don't give a yeah. shit. I love that. I like that guys want my girl. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. You know, when you walk in, walk in, and a guy yeah, looks at like, like, who is like, that? I want yeah. every yeah. dude having their eyes on my chick. Like, yes. wow, she's. And then I just bro. come up and just right. suck, girl. You know, yeah. you know, in the bar. <laughs> no, no. You know, she's at the bar on her own. Every guy's what just staring at her. That? She stood at the bar ordering some drinks because she's making that OnlyFans money. You just roll out a little slap on the ass. She's like, what's up, baby? Yeah, yeah. What's let her know me? that it's yours. I yeah. like the ski. <laughs> also, yours. like, almost dating a porn star. Boom. Right? And everyone's had a fantasy of it dating depends. a porn star. I guess it depends what they do. I feel like that would be, I mean, that's a different yeah. topic of conversation. Whilst we're yeah. here, star. whilst we're talking about porn stars, can we all just throw out on the podcast our porn star crushes so maybe they'll DM us? Oh my god, you have porn star crushes? I don't really have one. I, mine was always Chris. I Mack. actually don't know one Chrissy name of any, any porn star. I, 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 I definitely Mack. don't have one. No? I mean, honestly, no. as a kid, like growing up, like I was always in the MILFs. So, like, Lisa you know, Ann. Lisa Ann. Oh, oh, Randy Lee, too. baby. Lisa Lisa yeah, I don't know a I'm single. By Alexis, Texas. No one's showing Alexis, Texas. Of course, you'd like to Is she from Dallas? Where's she from, Doug? Where's Alexis, Texas from? Bro, I like. I don't know. <laughs> I like you watch so much porn. I mean, you watch a lot of porn? No, I like. Yes, you do. Like an average amount. Which What's is an average lot? amount to you? Well, I don't I close like my eyes and beat off. I always watch something. Yeah. Yeah. I just don't. Yeah, I feel uh, you. I like regular. I want to look. I know like these questions. I like porn stuff. You do. <laughs> yeah. I like I porn stuff. Yeah, yeah. Cause I, know I like watching like regular chicks get. Like, I would bust out. Yeah. I've always watched like, 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 skits. Is that weird? Like, the skits. <laughs> oh, trying to sell a house. Like, yeah. Like the. Okay, I'm gonna go through some of the questions that I asked on my Instagram. Okay. So, why do fuckboys eventually date a girl but can't think about long term commitment? So what makes you want to date a girl but that stands out from, like, your other girls? In your I'll, I'll go first. I You just – it becomes very tiring develop because to sleep with someone, I have to develop some sort of connection with them, right? I can't just – yeah, I, I personally can't just hit it and quit it. I have to have a relationship with this person. You're yeah. such a nice guy, bro. No, I, I mean, I just – You're a great guy. <laughs> You're such a good dude. But you so, weren't like this forever. No. Like, it must have – you must have had a, a past relationship that yeah. changed you for the better. I just need to – I need to have – I need to be friendly with her for her to stay over. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. that's my bed. Mm-hmm. Get if, if I don't like you, I'm going to just tell you, like, get the fuck out. So I'd rather develop, like, a little connection with someone for a week. Even if it's just a week or mm-hmm. two days. Maybe one day. Yeah. Still got that connection. So it's, like, longevity, you say? Yeah. The more and then you, the more you I just get bored girl. of having to restart. Like, oh, she sucks. All right, she's gone. Yeah. Restart for another one. She sucks. Restart. Yeah. So when I finally find one that's decent. You keep her. Kind of keep her, yeah. Yeah. Huh. I can, agree. I can agree with that. Yeah. Like, go on a little coffee date. That goes to a dinner I date. And then after the dinner date. Dates? You know. You bring her over for a Netflix date, and then all of a sudden, like, okay, three dates, let's let's rock. You mm-hmm. know, like, let's get after it a little bit. Do you date a lot? No, I've had one ex. <clears throat> one? One. Really? And how long did you date for? Two and a half years. That's you broke crazy. your heart? Yeah. Someone told me you're a lover boy. Is that true? What did you say the other day? Someone said he's Steven's actually a, really, like... a certified lover boy? Yeah, that's certified what you... Yeah, maybe boy. it was you that yeah, said that. I don't know. You think that's true? I think, to a certain you, I think extent. you both are, honestly. <laughs> yeah. I think for me, it just comes down to a girl. <laughs> what? <laughs> Shut up. I'll go. Yeah, you, you know a lot more about Nathan than me. I know exactly the most at this table about Nathan. Yeah, we don't I, know much about I think for so me, when it comes to a girl, like, I just want a girl who's independent, who's going to put me in my place, who's going to, like, again, like, hold me accountable for things. I think that right off rip is what, like, attracts me to a girl to want to be with them. Mm-hmm. But I think when it comes to long-term commitment and stuff like that, I think the biggest thing is, like, I have really high standards in life. And if I'm not happy with where I'm at and I'm not, like, because, again, like, I've gotten into relationships. We all get into them when we're younger and stuff like that. We're immature. Mm-hmm. We're not that self-aware. We project certain insecurities onto people. We let our ego get in the way and stuff like
having commitment issues, I think it's more about me and not about them. Yeah. And it's like I'm not happy or satisfied with where like I'm at. And I've always said this, like if I really want to settle down with someone, like again, like I have high standards. I want to have a fucking fat bank account and I want to be yeah. able to take care because like how my family was, like my dad took care of everyone. So like I want to be able to take care of like my girl – in every single way, shape, or form, give her the world, and then on top of that, like my kids, anything they want, like kids. I never want them to like uh, ever. Kids. When it comes to that point, about babies, wow, no, babies. Like, 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 Garrett, do you have a kid on the way or something? Nah, maybe like, he has one. Probably he had a few. I, I feel like there's definitely a little. Uh, Garrett I'm pretty on the sure way. there's a little baby Garrett. Right. Right. Sure. I'm, I'm That's scary. scary. <laughs> I think I'm sterile, bro. Like I'm, I'm definitely sterile. I, I, never so had I, a scare I did one of those little. Have you ever done one of those tests from like Walgreens or CVS? Like you nut in the thing. No, never done it. I didn't even know you could do that. I was mine was very low. My count was very low. Wait, what? Talking about. You've never done it? Your sperm oh, count? Yeah, you never done it? Yeah, you, you can I didn't know you could do that. Though. I thought you meant like buy a test like a no, plan no, no. B so, or like No, so you go to pregnancy. in CVS, you literally you nut in like you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, he knows. Uh, you nut in like a little pot and then you wait twenty minutes and it like the color indicates your sperm count and mine was like fucking bottom two percent. <laughs> oh my really? god, really? Yeah, so but, you don't know if you can have kids? No, I can't it's just I was ripping wait, so we much. You should create a twenty three and me version of this. So I can <laughs> like, I was ripping. <laughs> wait. So does that that means it's harder to get a girl pregnant? Yeah. Yeah, because my sperm count was low. It's like it's normally can fine. You get it up? Yeah. If yeah, you yeah, get fine. off either yeah, yeah. It was literally just because <laughs> I just finished the cycle so I was okay. like so I was restarting it all. That's what it was. That's interesting. I'd love to. Yeah, to well, yeah we should all go do it today. You want to do it? Do I actually? Yeah, yeah. Can you guys Honestly, take your shirts bro, off? Honestly, bro, I busted a crazy <laughs> nut. <laughs> yeah. I busted a crazy nut yesterday. I don't think I have any juice. In there, oh, don't <laughs> act like. Come on. Don't act like you, you got some. Juice, you got some bro. stored back. I'll yeah. put some Lisa Ann on my phone real quick. I'll be able to get it. Oh, let's yes. wait a little bit for that one. Yes. <laughs> Doug, what, Doug, what is? What are your thoughts on? You're a you're a lover. You've had, you have girlfriends all the time. Multiple, sometimes multiple. I had sometimes a few. I had one serious relationship and I learned so much during that. It was five Relationships years are so good. And it was the They're best. So good. I love them. Me. That's why Kali has one a week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the shot's fucking fired. It's so bad. Guys, Adam and Eve has so many sex toys. I might have included one in mine the other night. <laughs> Real talk. Are you getting enough? Adam and Eve has everything you need to spice up your sex life. As the nation's largest market of adult products, they literally have hundreds of items to spice up you and your partner's sex life. That sounds fucking hot. <laughs> Guys, I'm not even kidding when I say this. I use Adam and Eve. I'm like about a year ago with my ex-boyfriend. I had <laughs> ordered a toy off the website and I use it with my, with my ex and he still has it. So I should probably use my own discount code and go get another one. So yeah. Go to adameve.com and enter Carly, C-A-R-L-Y, and get 50% off almost any one item and get 50% off, including free shipping on the website. Adamandeve.com, guys. It's fucking insane. 50% off, free shipping. Use my name, C-A-R-L-Y. Go crazy. So. <laughs> no, it's true. I know. I do. I but do. Since I've met you, you've only had one. Yeah. That's but not it's bad. only been two weeks. It's well, been there we go. We're, <laughs> a week, yeah. we're a week ahead. She walked exactly. in a couple, what is it, yesterday or the night before? I'm done with I cut him off. <laughs> I'm done. We're over. Do you care about this? He, he called me and said the same thing. He's like, I think Carly and I are done. <laughs> the next morning, I, they're fucking together. Yes. I didn't even open yeah, my eyes came, up yet. They're like, <laughs> he came over at midday. I'm like, are y'all good? She's like, yeah, yeah, we're fine. Like, <laughs> and I was, and on FaceTime, I was like, Sammy, I was like, wait, you're going to Carly? Carly's and he's like, yeah. I was like, do you remember FaceTiming me last night? Was he sad? And telling me that you guys were done? And he's like, I FaceTimed you? <laughs> like, you were legit like, the stop same. Being so blacked out. You guys are so great together, but. Oh, I love that. Alcohol, obviously, yes. the past two nights, I think you guys have gotten in like a ver little verbal, maybe, argument. Last night we fought again. And like, it's only been two weeks, so like, if the alcohol continues, yeah. those fights are just gonna get worse. I think. No, I know he said no, to me, he's like, I didn't know you were so crazy. I was like, we had to. Yeah, when when, when was it? It was not yesterday, the day before. Carly woke up. It's fucking eleven o'clock on like a Wednesday, and she was like, "Should we pour a shot? Should we go get drunk?" I was on the phone with Garrett. I was like, "No, Carly, you're not getting. It's eleven o'clock on a Wednesday morning. You're not getting drunk." She's like, "Why? This is what this is what we do." Like Garrett, have a word with her. He was just cussing her. He was like cussing out. No, you guys keep me in line. You're a degenerate. You guys you keep suck. me in line. <laughs> you know what makes me mad though? I feel like with guys, when I'm dating a guy, he can go out and party, but then with me, that I like get looked down on for it. Like, why no. is that? You don't I get do. looked down because I feel like guys hate dating girls at party. Absolutely not. I I don't. Oh. I I kind of do. But how do? hard See? you party? Yeah. How hard you yeah. party? And I, like when you become like a like I don't. <laughs> it's hard for me. Like, I'm a, when I'm when I'm partying. Like 
I'm already on a whole other planet. So I have to, You're like, on Jupiter. If I have to, like, look <laughs> after someone else that, like, you know, is a drunk giraffe. I look after myself like, great. I always make it home. I'm I, fine. I have never you seen. blackout. She, she's great, but I've never seen I'm, a girl drink as much liquor as Kelly can drink. <gasps> I can drink a she lot. She will drink. Two, three bottles of liquor <laughs> in a day. I'd be, I'd, what is it? You came, when, when did you come home and you're like, oh, no, it was man. last night. You're like, I didn't even drink last night. Like, Carly, I came home, there's two bottles of wine on the side. <laughs> like, they're liquor. both empty. Oh, yeah. She said to me, she texted me, she's like, I didn't even drink. And then you called her out. Like, what was you, like, you left it trash. Also, weren't you getting died. hammered at Barney's all yes. day? Yes. yes. You guys have yeah. been at Barney's the past three nights, I think. Uh, you know what? We always fight at Barney's, so I'm, I hate Barney's. Done with this. Let's, let's cut it out. Let's cut yeah. it out. Let's for cut sure. out. It's Barney, new... Barney's is the issue. Barney's, Barney's is so it's definitely cool, an issue. It's definitely yeah, it's not me. It's a very cool spot. It's definitely not me. No, it's just funny. No, I didn't drink last night. Like, there was like a bottle of Bacardi gone. <laughs> <laughs> Two bottles oh, of red wine. I drank the Bacardi, thank God. I'm looking at it. Yeah, Jesus. A who, who purchased that one? I did Bacardi? for them. Of course right? you did, fucking and Bacardi. It's all gone. They were like, I don't like Bacardi. No way, right? So Sammy was like, yo, could I get Bacardi with lime and, and uh, what's it called? Coconut water. Coconut water. Oh, That's what he was doing? Give it to Sammy, huh? Question, when... This wasn't. I, I just want to know when do you cut off your other girls, and do you have a conversation about it? No. Or when does that come? Oh. Or you never do. I, I don't. Honestly. I don't. I don't have a conversation about cutting off. You just don't hear from me. Exactly. Yeah. See, I'm the that's, same. That's exactly. a that's a fuck boy move, and I used to do that all the time. And what I've realized now is it's just rather like after the show, I mm-hmm. realized it's just better to be honest and be like, hey, well, you yeah. know what, like. We're going different ways. Like I'm not really about this anymore. Like, do you have fun? Whatever. It's mm-hmm. more respect to them. How do I know when I want to cut off a girl, though? Oh, it's a lot of things. Like, I'm, again, like, that high standards. Like, if there's something wrong with you, like, mm. when we're fucking or, like, you do certain things that are weird or you're too lovey. Like, there's so many little things lovey, I don't if like. Lovey, if you're too lovey. Like, if yeah. you're, oh, if God. You're, if, if you're, you're over messy, the top. I'm never getting If your then. room looks like Carly's too room. Lovey. Hey, my I'm room being is like, clean. Yo, her, room, her room is better now, but. I have a bed is, now. It's like, uh, but hers went from her bedroom to the living room. Football Sunday. Oh, yeah, it's great now. Everything's fine. Yeah, it looks better now. Everything's fine. Not from you, because you got Jolie sitting. Jolie comes over. You're in the shower. She's folding everything up, putting it away. Jolie's legit the bestest friend I've ever had. Like, she's great. Yeah. Um, but no, do you always keep a roster? Do you? Seriously, I need to no. know. No. And like, uh-uh. but see, this is what bugs me. Is like, I feel like guy when guys like an Instagram picture, like at least in my head, like okay, he wants to fuck her, or like hey, he's talking to her. No, I don't agree. Really, it does. You can I like feel like it kind of does let them know. Like, it does. Hey, I'm think, see? Maybe I'm, okay, maybe you're, that's cool. That's just me though. Okay, people that's have, could have a lot of different opinions. Yeah, on I it. mean, being completely honest, every girl's photo that I like. You'd Unless fuck. they're my friends, you want to hit. I want to smash. Oh of my god, that's so sad. But no, it's not even like that. Or it could be like a dope artsy photo. I'm gonna. Yeah. Like oh, it. Okay, yeah. Okay, so like, oh, okay. Yeah, it's like, like fussy, it's her, fine. Like her tits don't need to be like all over the screen. Like yeah. I would almost mm-hmm. prefer that not to be the photo I'm liking. It's crazy. Like because, a cool outfit goes so much yeah. further yeah. than like her yeah. fat. It's crazy because men will like or boys will like pictures of half naked girls, but they don't want their girlfriend doing that. Hey, so it's like okay, well, what kind of I've what kind of message issue. are you Listen, sending? I used to be like that, you know, and as I got older, I was like, I don't care. Exactly. Don't like, don't care those enough. dudes who are like that, yeah. no offense, like they're insecure. Yeah, mm-hmm. and yeah. that's honestly to me, that's a red flag. Yeah, because you're gonna get like heat from them, and you guys are gonna kind of be a little toxic because they're insecure about like. Of course, what stuff, you're but to yeah. be fair, I don't really post slutty pictures anymore. Well, it goes so, back. Like, it goes back to what I was saying. Your feed is great, but for example, like Camila Cuejo or like Olivia Culpo, like I genuinely like their feeds. Like so, I like their stuff. But you I'm, can do it like sex. You can make yeah. nudity. But I'd still smash. For sure. Don't get me wrong. I'd still smash, but, though. Right? I mean, it does suck, though, when you do say like, your boyfriend <laughs> liking girls' pics, I will say. You think? Yeah. It's it's just a really, like, coming from a girl, it's a shitty feeling. It, like, but makes do you, you like f- other guys' pics? I was going to say. Yeah, like uh, actually, yeah, yeah. you know what? No. But just your friends. And, what? So you don't like anyone's photos? You've never liked my pictures before. No, that's different. Because you guys are my friends. I've never slept with you. Mm. Also, I've never slept with anyone at this table. Because I know I'm, I've already gotten asked that. Who would get feels? Um, Come on, quick. You get asked about these two, though. Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. Damn. People assume everything. Anyways, we're talking about likes. Yeah, but yeah, no. no, if I see my boyfriend like a picture <laughs> of a girl's photo, I'm like, ugh. Like, it's a, such a turnoff. Yeah. Okay. It's such a big turnoff. It makes you feel insecure. And then also, it's like, if that there girl's you go. brunette. You, can't let, you, can't let you know, if that girl's insecure. brunette, you're like, oh, my gosh. There. We've gotten yeah. that insecure. I'm also not yeah. liking girls' photos because I'm like, oh, I want to smash him. I'm also like, oh, you're hot. That's a cool photo. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'd still but you, smash, but like we've, I'm just liking it to like it. We we've spoken about this before. You need a guy that is obsessed with you, yeah. as in that. No, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. You just that's who you need to date. You need to yeah. be, date a guy that has blinders on like yeah. this. That but I feel like Carly, it just I feel Carly. like that's what w- women should want, though. Like I mean, no, like, they should, but you should. Or the like, opposite. I feel like, like yeah. girls want guys 
that don't want them. Does it make sense? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's they love to chase. They just love they to, love chase. to chase. And that's like for me. Yeah. Girls, but you, you like don't. You, I like to chase. You need a guy that that's is just you, obsessed with you. That's why you're rocking with my boy. <laughs> I don't chase him. He chases Wait a minute. Me. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, you need someone who's kind of a simp. Uh, I'm a simp? No, you no, need you someone need who's someone. kind of a simp. Oh, yeah. Like, I'm a simp too, though. But also a dude who's kind of a simp who's not insecure, who's like, all right, yeah, Carly, you can go out, party with the boys, go do whatever you want. Like, I don't care. Like, I know that I'm going to trust you ultimately at the end of the day. Sims are hot. But Carly well, will treat. Love but there's really no dudes like, like that. A lot of kings. I do treat yeah. guys like, like kings. kings. Yeah. You'll you'll be like Too soon. you're like yeah. oh you want to go shopping? Here's three thousand dollars. Go shopping. <laughs> oh, here want my car <laughs> for the week. Yeah, yeah. Car. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm paying a thousand dollars a week for a car. But yeah, take it, take it. Love you. Bye. No, it's true. Yeah, you're but great. But I feel like yeah. if a guy's gonna send for me, I'll send for him back. Mm-hmm. I don't think it should be one sided. Fair enough. I think it should be both ways. But that goes back to like the Instagram thing. I'm like, if you're gonna be liking girls' pictures, why should I? If a guy's gonna DM me, I can't answer. Which I never did in my past. Well, that's different. I think DMing ass, is different you know? to, to likes. DMing right? is way different. That's, that's yeah. like a like, but, a follow is a like, then a follow. A new follow, though. DM what if it's a new follow? Response. But a lot of times people okay. skip the first two and just go right, go to, right, right to the, the DMs. Okay, but what if you are in a relationship and a hot girl follows you? Is it bad if you follow her back not knowing who she is? Hmm. It's tough because I don't. Know. I don't look into stuff like I that. I can't. I, I generally follow, can't see it. I, I can't don't really see follow when back. You can always you search your name. Yeah, I or can you see pop it. up on top if they follow yeah. you. Oh, yeah, you, you do? can see it. Yeah. You can see who you follow. Oh, I didn't it's, know that. Well, oh, it's gonna not, be a game changer, but yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you can see who they followed most recently. <laughs> so, I, so I didn't realize. I didn't realize there was. You know, in requested messages, I didn't realize there was top requested yeah. and all requested. Oh God! So you saw the girls there? No, so I had no idea top requested. So me and Doug were sitting in Dallas probably two or three weeks ago, and I just hit my top requested. <laughs> it was just blue, boof, blue, blue, the, whole blue, blue. Yeah. the whole way down, the whole way down. That's all. I didn't respond to any of them. Honestly, guys, don't DM me. I swear <laughs> <my life. laughs> they you just, said you have eighty percent female father mm-hmm. yeah which is great that's insane i love that, that i is... know i love that i love all my girls i love you all and guys but love my girls that's crazy. yeah they do you you have like a huge female following that yeah. fucking would go to war for you i know i love them war i fucking so love cool. my girls that's, there's that's two girls awesome. i talk to every single day that's like, amazing you know them or no you don't know them? i just mess them every day we talk good for you every single day i talk that's to them cool as hell yeah you're a great person carly you guys are great mm-hmm. can we talk about body confidence in women yeah okay well what? Okay, when you're going to like fuck a guy. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> you, know, you know, you know, you know what I'm feeling. I got on my um, phone. <laughs> do you care what her pussy looks like? Yes. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. It's a, it's All actually right. a reason why I've mm-hmm. haven't been with girls. So you see it and then what? You walk away? Uh no. I'll see smash your smell. And then I'll, I'll be like, yeah. No, well, yeah. smells different. Like, <laughs> yeah, that. See, I would want to make sure yeah. my guy smells good. See, too. it's Just, really it's it's messed up. But I've done that before. Where like, yeah. I was like, man, you're an amazing person. But like. After I wow. fuck too many times, that shit starts dropping, and I'm like, I can't do this anymore. I, I also, yeah. I can't. Just being honest, honest. I can't. No, it's I can't. Be honest, be honest. I can't go down on a girl if if I'm not attracted to her vagina. Yeah. You know. Well, I that's an I intimate thing. I, do I don't go down yeah. on men like that either. Yeah. If I'm like ever. So Why are you I chuckling? Gotta... Why are you laughing? What are you looking at? You know he knows that's cap. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't. I don't. I don't. It's big oh, cap. Shit. No, I, no, I just. I can't. Just stories. I can't go down on a girl if, if I'm not attracted to her vagina. I remember. I can't. When... It's like you wouldn't kiss a girl if you weren't attracted to her, right? Yeah. yeah so why would you? Depends on the night, I guess. If yeah, I was a little lit or not. Yeah, you yeah. were on a story with my friend. Oh yeah, that happened. That was so. That was your fault. Why was that my fault? Sammy's fault. Sammy's fault for sure. Maybe all. We were so black. We were so black. What did you do? We were all like making out with everybody on our stories and thinking it was like cool to post it publicly. Do you care if a girl like has? Okay, so this is gonna sound really weird, but I feel like most girls feel like this when I'm having sex with a guy and like he's on top and I have like a little roll. Do you guys notice that? Not at all. Okay, absolutely not. Okay, that'll be the last thing. Mm-hmm. Any guy would notice in the okay. middle of sex. Yeah. Yes. Derek's over there thinking, like, oh. I'm thinking about it just yesterday. Like, I looked down because I like You watching. sex yesterday? Yeah. What? With who? At, like, midday. At, with, with who? Me? Yeah. I'll bleep it. Can we do yeah. With who? Yeah, of course. Yeah. He's yeah. catching I'm not bleeping it. Does, it. does it, does it rhyme with... Yeah. <laughs> does it rhyme with... Yeah. Pia Mansus? Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's like Go on, though. Like, yeah, his, his name rhymes with Rarit. <laughs> 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 So we've established it, it rhymes with Pia Mansis, right? Yeah. Pia Mansis. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Great. So what, what happened though during sex? You had sex with Pia Mia? Pia Mia, right? Yeah, smash. Uh, I love it. No, I was just saying, like, we were talking about, like, the role thing. I remember I was on top of her, and I remember looking down, because I love when I watch, like, my dick go inside of her. Mm. That shit gets me even that much mm-hmm. harder. So, like, I actually didn't notice, because I was just looking at my cock go inside of her, yeah. as opposed to, like... 
Yeah. I get so insecure when I'm having sex. He stared at himself while so he d- fucked. Oh he's watching his he's dick. Like, he's like oh, looking bro, in the I mean, mirror, yeah. but he's getting hard <laughs> to himself. It's <laughs> a great dick. Mirror. It's like the size like the size of this. Or like, you have a mirror? Yeah. In your room? Like, huge That's mirror. Bro. How have I never like, been to your it, house? Like to the side of your bed? Or? Uh, yeah, it's on the side of my bed. It's like literally the size of like this. Oh, so you just face it. Oh, yeah, bro. Face it. It's always cool when girls have mirrors. face it. On the ceiling. Yes. Yeah, you guys have had sex with uh, yeah. a mirror on the ceiling. Once. I never have. In a hotel room, yeah, I, I have, like but twice, never. Yeah. in a hotel room, but I've never gone to a girl's place with mirrors. But on the I stand. love like bending them over and just looking at myself in the mirror. And like, I'll do you like looking at, look at yourself? Looking at yourself, hey, yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. I want to make sure that my positions are right because, like, I do like to like film like a lot of the times. But you get consent. Yeah, I get consent okay, all good. the time. Okay, Actually, that yesterday the person wanted me to film. Yeah, oh well, yeah, that happened on my phone. And I don't mind if a where's that video? Phones. Oh, on your phone? Okay. No, on my phone, on her phone. Oh, yeah. so she's like, got an OnlyFans and she's yeah. dropping that. So can we? Shit so today. can we subscribe to yours or hers to see these Wait, videos? Wait, you have an OnlyFans? <laughs> no, I don't have an OnlyFans. Okay, no. he will have an OnlyFans. Yeah, he very will. Soon. Nah, will. He will. Very soon. He will for sure. Of course he will. Look at it. What's the most like sexy thing about a woman? Doesn't have to be physical. Um, confidence for me, it's confidence. And how do you? I just how does a woman show confidence? What makes a woman confident? Just I think it's gr- just walking into demeanor, a room. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. demeanor. It's just you walk into a room, you know, and some girls will walk into a bar like this. Yeah, text in, yeah. and other girls you see them They're burst through the door. That just bitch with their girls. Yeah, yeah. bro, with their I girls. like when just a bad bitch just walks in and she gives no one the eyes. Doesn't mm-hmm. look at anyone. Is in her own thing. Like you're trying to catch her eyes and you can't. Yeah. And then eventually, like later in the night, like an hour or so later, she starts to like open up a little bit. But girls who like hold themselves to the point where like they're unattainable. That's what I like. Where yeah. like when I walk like I, cause I don't like to walk up to girls without like at least catching that 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 glare that little, first. Yeah, yeah. If you don't catch that and you're just walking up to someone, I promise you, you're going to lose. They might have a boyfriend. They might have whatever it may be. It's like not interested. But what does yeah. that mean if you're friendly? Like I go up to everyone and say hey. You do. You're a very big exception. Yeah, you're, 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 yeah. Very big. Uh, like, we, that we were, I'm gonna say when we were in, I don't know. We went to dinner one time, and Carly was like, I really need to go to the gas station to get a vape. Carly disappeared for like an hour, came back, and she was like, this is Dave. I met him down, <laughs> <laughs> I him down the street. True story. I brought this random, random, random little random man. Guy. Oh random little man. Like, oh, Dave. Like, right. I talked hey, to Dave. everyone. But I don't want th- – that's the thing, though. I feel like – another thing is, too, you can come off so flirty, mm-hmm. but you don't mean it like that. And that's what fucking sucks, too. Same with dating a guy. Like, sometimes I've, I've thought my boyfriend was being overly flirty, but he's just friendly. Joey's – or Joey was very Who's friendly. Who's that? Joey was one Jolie? of – Jolie? <laughs> Jolie. Jolie. Oh, Joey. Yeah. Joey was very friendly. Joey is one too of the much. friendliest, yeah, yeah. friendliest guys that you yeah. ever You're met. But is it too much, yeah. though? Or it, is it only too much, like, once it hits that point? As a girl, I love when my, like, man's, like, friendly. Because I like when I, like, can bring my boyfriend out and, like, bring him into a friend group. Right. Like, Sammy was, like, friends with you guys right away. Instantly. Yeah. Instantly, yeah. which I found the most attractive thing about mm-hmm. him, honestly. As soon as he asked for your number, I was like, fuck, I have to marry him now. Yeah. Well, like, I have yeah. to marry him. Let's but if it gets the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If it gets the point later, where if it's only overly friendly with later, girls, then no, it's not attractive. Like, I don't like the touching. Like, my, my boy's, like, touching... Mm. I different. Well, I hate that. Yeah, no, I think the hottest thing for me when it comes to a girl, though, off base, off the question you said, is in, so a girl is independent. That for me yeah. is the best thing. Like a girl who's not on payroll, a girl who like actually has something going for her, yep. is establishing her own brand. I think for yep. me, that's what like you don't have to fucking be the baddest girl in the world, but if you again have that independent side of you and you're a go getter, yeah. that to me, I'm just like, Ugh. that's, that's sexy for like, guys too. Awesome. Same thing. Like, Which that, that's a, that's you know, so I just want to break her back and then like, yeah. put her in her place a little bit, you know. <laughs> yeah. But then when we're done, what's going like, on over there? We, we knew that was coming. <laughs> like, I, I won't. So, Kali, I'm not. Fuck me. I'm not gonna <laughs> name. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just express it. I'm not gonna name names, but like that's one of the issues I have. Like, I, there's a girl I love to death. I love yeah. to death, but she just doesn't do anything. Yeah. Does nothing. Yeah, oh. you need that. You need that like just, balance. Is she a hometown sweet? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Just it's always the hometown. Yeah, she it's really is. But, but she just, she just, I just, I try. It. Like I'm like, just do something. Yeah, yeah. do something. And Doug will tell you the same thing. He's like, she just sits at home all day. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's, I just. Yeah. Bro, that to me is the she's most gonna watch honor. this, so I'm sorry, but like that to me is the most. I, I, love, I love you. I love her to death. We, we all love her to death. I just you. like, bro. That's just, why. That's literally why I dumped the last girl that I was with. I was yeah. like, I was with you for like five, six months, and then all of a sudden, I was like, you're doing nothing with your life, and like, no offense, I didn't say this to her. I just yeah. like, told her in the nicest way, shape, or form. I was like, hey, like, I just think that we need to, you know, we're go our separate ways you know i'm not really in this anymore yeah. and everything like that but the main reason why was because she was doing fucking nothing. and it also yeah. slows yeah. you down when they don't do awesome. anything with their yeah, lives so like, but if they're a go-getter they're gonna yeah. go get, get after exactly. get up early in the morning yeah. hit the gym do the uh, whole shebang like that's how we don't do get it up early. she was a sweetheart she was kind of like jolie like she like, like look yeah. again like every time i come home the dishes were like clean the house was clean. <laughs> my bed was made my,
the dishes? Do that. Like use the oh, dishwasher? Yeah, put it in the laundry and put the soap in it. I'll just no, sure. folding the clothes. Well, folding clothes, I, don't, I can't do Oh, well, she don't know how to do that. She Whoa, just, shut it down. down. You <laughs> throw it all on your bed and you call Jolie over and say, go <laughs> fold my stuff. What, who folds your clothes? Oh, my God. Nathan. <laughs> Nathan. <laughs> Nathan's doing laundry duty. And well, we got Doug here for the weekend. He's going to hang all the pictures and do everything. No, Nathan, you actually could be a housewife. Like Me? Yeah. Like, he wakes up. Have you seen his room? Dude, yeah. Nathan's a badass. It's Airbnb. I feel like you're like that, too, though. But no, when I first met Nathan, I we Sam and I walked into your apartment. Yeah. Nathan's like leveling out the wall, yeah. right to mouth the TV. I was like, just the other day, I called a handyman to oh, fucking come hang my TV up for me. Hey. I was like, this dude Nathan, man, yeah, oh, yeah. And then we go into his room. It's like fucking perfect. Yeah. Spotless. There's it's not a fucking. Fucking... I have one of those little like dust sheets, <laughs> like. Um. And hers awful. My, whoa. Um, <laughs> what does it mean Explosion. if a guy says he's scared of commitment? That's a good question. Is it? Co- can you commit to the right woman? So men use that as an excuse. You think? Maybe I think it's. You, you, sorry, you go I was going to say if he's scared of commitment, uh, it's kind of tough though. I don't know if I know the right route to take. Or what someone it. says like they're not ready to date yet. I think it's just timing. What is that? You just, you I, know, I don't. That, that, I think for that, like, there, there's so many things when it comes to that. I think that it could be like they're not happy with where they're at in their life. Yeah. Because again, like, I know a big thing That's for true. dudes, especially out in LA, and you're lying if you're saying not. Is like if your paper is not right. And your bread is not right. Like it's hard to be in a relationship and like be able to give someone something. I personally, or if you're not like where you're at with your career, like that can fuck you up. And mm-hmm. that like money can be such a big thing with a relationship. Yeah. And yeah. I think, mm-hmm. And I think especially out here in LA, like Remind. people think that you need to be buying girls like Cartier and Birkin bags and all this shit. Like buy them a new fucking Range Rover when that's not really the reality. Yeah. But no. A lot of fuck people. Fuck that. Yeah. I, I yeah. Yeah. do not. Men do not right buy now. me fuck shit. That. But but it's nice to be. But I want a Range saying, Rover. It, it's nice to be able to go to a restaurant and <laughs> and just be like, oh, yeah, don't have whatever exactly. you want. Like you don't because you don't care. Thanks, don't care. Yeah. There's no like, oh, I, I don't have it anywhere. What sucks? It was just a rental. I'm getting a Mercedes. So yeah, I th- I think, right? Yo, should we wait. shout out Mercedes? Can we try and sponsor Mercedes. Yeah, Mercedes. Yeah, Mercedes. Can we sponsor Carly? Yeah, Tesla. C63 <laughs> drop top. Maybe. Elon. <laughs> Elon. Elon, pull up. We want Teslas. So if a guy says he's not ready for a relationship, doesn't necessarily mean. It's about you. No, it doesn't but mean it's the me, wrong girl. I feel like or I... he could be heartbroken from his yeah. last relationship. I've, I've, oh. I've missed you out on some great girls. You're a certain boat. You guys yeah. are I've, I've missed I'm out on some serious, amazing bro. girls because I've just yeah, not like been ready. Yeah, not There's ready. There's been two, two or three girls since yeah. my marriage. Did you notice it after? Yeah, since my marriage, Damn. probably two girls that, I like... I, that have come and gone. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, there's a girl right now that I'm not ready for because I know that she is a big spender, and I'm like, fuck, like I know that if I'm with you, like yeah. I'm gonna be spending at least. That's sad. I've never would put that on a man. Year, minimum. No. No. I've well, never, it's just a match. I've them, never though. put that on a man. My financial. That's good. Ever. You, you don't mean like to pick up her tab. You're saying she spends her own money. And you, are you no, trying to match no. it? I think he means his <laughs> yeah. I feel like she's an expense. Like I know for a fact, okay. I'll I'll be out hundred to two hundred a year if I'm gonna. What are you saying? Like girl. to travel with her? Like feed her fucking everything. breakfast yeah, like, in she, bed with want the want fucking tables, like, silver platter? Tables every weekend. <laughs> I'm fine with saying? Katie and a plastic yeah. fork. No, Shut it down. Yeah, it's it's like travel Postmates, IHOP, bro. Postmates, IHOP, IHOP, hop. We got. Oh. We used to go to IHOP like every other day. Why aren't we there right now? Why aren't we going to go to IHOP? I'm done. We're going to go get drunk after this. Right? No, we're no. doing a challenge. You just said you. Challenge. Yeah, we got until if one of us drink. Nathan, by the way, by the way, if Nathan drinks, night? did he drink last night? Yeah, first, no, I'm not ratting him. Thousand dollars. I didn't drink. I didn't drink. Oh, oh, she wasn't, him. She wasn't with me. Uh, he definitely did drink. <laughs> I'm gonna tell yeah. Chase that I'm gonna give him fifty percent. I think he did. What, okay. No, I didn't drink. I drank those THC drinks. That's oh yeah, right, right. So we so we have a pact. We have until Halloween. If one of us drinks, unless it's on a date, we're allowed to drink on a date. I could never do that. You have to take a. You have to take. If you don't take a photo of that date. And show that you're drinking. Mm-hmm. I consider that cheating because you're not being honest. So you have yeah. to take a photo. I have a really good and question. We have to know who the girl is too that you're on a date. No, with. that's fucking taking it too far. You're gonna <laughs> yeah. slide like, in. Hang on, sit still, still really quick. <laughs> <laughs> can you hold the can you hold the wine up? How much did he drink? <laughs> um, would you that's want? That. You want to come over drink. later? So that's what, yeah, want to come over. Would you want your daughter to date a man like you? Uh, be be honest, be honest. <laughs> would you? If Doug, your daughter Doug, brought you home, would you want your daughter to date any one of us, Doug? Well, Doug doesn't know us too, so Definitely speak for yourself. Hey, all right. All right. <laughs> Definitely not Nathan. But I'm saying I'm just off off the last thirty minutes. Any That's of the us. thing. Like I feel like for you, if anyone, Nathan, like, dude, you're such a lover. You're such a good dude. Like I mean, I feel like if, if my daughter was super bad and like she could hold you down, like I feel like you would treat her super right. Yeah, I, I treat I treat the right girl very well. I would, and I, I would, feel I would, like the older we get, mm-hmm. the better we'll treat ladies. And I think yeah. if we're not going in that direction, like wake up, like mm-hmm. we gotta do better. I don't think that I treat women bad. I think that I'm really honest. Like I'm. Type of person I don't who's think like, you do no, either. Like, yeah. 
like i think for me it's like yo you want to go on a date you want to go kick it you want me to come over and fuck you and get you off at 2 p.m cool hit me up i'll be there but as far as like being like emotionally available (laughs) for you like nah i'm not gonna be there i would say as friends you guys have all been great friends to me honestly i would want any girl both y'all i'd want any girl to date you guys really you wouldn't want your girlfriend no i would i you would oh okay not you (laughs) what do you mean not me (laughs) Because then she, if you guys broke up, it would yeah, be it's weird for me. I awkward. live with you. I mean, if yeah. we didn't live together, maybe. How is that yeah. living together? Do you want your good. daughter to date us? Like good? Great. Yeah. Would I want my daughter to date any of you? Any of us, yeah. Yeah? Oh, yeah, actually, yeah. yeah. But I'm going to be a goddaughter, godfather. Goddaughter, you She's going to be like goddaughter. You're going to be my goddaughter. Yeah. Oh, do you guys have any insecurities as men? I mean, I know you do, but what are they? Mine are my calves. <gasps> Your calves. I Shut can't up, grow man. my calves. Those are me. I want to calves cannot, are the hardest muscle to grow. I cannot grow right? my calves. I, I like to say calves are 100 percent genetics. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like uh-huh. I put on 40 pounds the last three years, and, and nothing and like a pound and of it my calf skipped my calf. Yeah, like <laughs> lower leg, huh? thigh, it's, upper body, it's so, nothing to the calf. Like at a pool, I will walk fucking sideways because I want people to see my calf. <laughs> <laughs> a fucking crab walk. <laughs> and like I was, we were looking at me and Doug were looking at it like. Like me and you, maybe we'll get like a two for one on calf implants. Calf it's implants? Like six, it's like six grand for the surgery. If but you... like at the end of the day, fuck it. Yeah, yeah it's... like look at you, bro. Like we try. It's not like we don't s- fucking you're try. You're a stallion. No one's going to. And maybe like. Is this mine? No, I've never Carly, seen your mine. calves. Oh, exactly. Nathan, Nathan, like, what I was going to say is like, I doubt anybody has ever told you you have small calves in person. It's all these yeah, little trolls it's... on social media. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's always me trolls. Like, yeah, you don't lift legs. We don't like, like the trolls. Look... This dude doesn't yeah, hit dude. legs, and you're probably wearing like sweatpants in the photo. Yeah. It's like, bitch, <laughs> you can't even see my legs. Yeah. Like, all the time. It, it is. It's you wear shit. skinny jeans? Oh, no, you're screwed. If you're if you're dating a girl, though, and you go into a bar, and a hot guy hits on your girl, does it make you insecure? Nah. No. Ooh, but see, why is it that with girls? I've, I've had, that, I've had, had it happen too. I've had that happen where like a yeah. dude who came up who was like an absolute stud, and I was just like, <laughs> it, it got me because like it's not even like it gets you like because at the end of the day, like I know how I have a connection with her that's going to be deeper than that. But it is yeah. one of those things where it's like I honestly just want to walk up to her, and I know that I can't do this, but I want to walk up to her and just be like, I would just kiss her and yeah. be like. Yo, that's my bitch. Get away. See, I find yeah, like, like, I find like that I was so about, that. about the little slap on the butt. Yeah. But Nathan, oh, or, let me not, Jared, that's kind of aggressive, though, no? What? Like, if she's in the middle of a conversation and you, and you go just over there and, like, See, I love that, mark, though. Like, mark your territory. But it's yeah. like, yo, you're good. I'm like that. She's no, going I, home with you. I like that. You like that stuff. I love I'm not going to lie. Dominant men are so sexy to girls. Well, I'm speaking for myself, but I love it. Like, if I'm talking to a guy and my boyfriend comes up and that's mine, holy moly. Instead yeah. of a slap on the butt, maybe yeah. like a "Hey, bud, what's your name? I'm Stephen." Right? Oh, that's yeah. good. Yeah. That's if Stephen was talking to a yeah. girl, was talking to my girl, and I didn't know him, I would probably walk up to him and I'd probably be like, "You'd probably slap my ass." I'd probably, yeah. I'd probably, <laughs> I would, I would fucking yeah. slap I'd your probably, ass. I'd probably walk oh. up and I'd be like, "I'd be like, like 40. Okay, perfect. I'd probably walk you guys up. Taking your shirts off now, by the way. Take them off. Nah, we we're in the middle of a serious here. conversation. Sorry. You're trying to treat us like meat. If you were talking to my girl, okay, sorry. Yeah. If you were talking to my girl, I'd probably walk up and be like, "Yeah, she's hot, right?" <laughs> and I'd say, yes, are you the boyfriend? Yeah, and you'd say, yeah. yeah. I'd be like, okay. Have you guys slept with any of the same girl? I mean, we must have. You I, must have. No, I'm fresh, so no. You're fresh, fresh. Garrett. Fresh. God knows how many, bud. How many people have you slept with? Oh, I'll never tell. It's one thing I'll never do. All right, bad guy. You, you know? You know? I know. I've I, have a, I have a, I have a, no re- I have a yeah. good estimate, but I would never say anything. Yeah. Okay. I'm the same. I, feel like, okay, I, I wouldn't I say like yours I is outrageous. I, think, I, think I would say yours is not. Yours is not yeah. outrageous. Yeah, I mean, you know. I feel like you might have the least at the table. Really? Uh, not not well, like, as least as my yeah. less. I mean, I've lived, but. you know, I moved out when I was 18. Mm-hmm. I moved to New York, and then I'm, I've been in L.A. since then. So, like, and I've only dated for two years out of the five. Oh. So I, and like before my you last relationship, like 18 boyfriend? to 21, I never cheated on my girl. I never would cheat okay. on a girl. Like I, I just don't good. believe in all that at yeah. all. I yeah. never would actually. It's but um, it's yeah, I was a little slut from 18 to 21, found my girl, mm-hmm. dated for two years. And like yeah. that changed my perception on girls. Like I didn't just throw my dick around to anybody yeah. after that. You know what I mean? You respected her enough to keep it. Exactly. In your do but like think... I still go crazy like here and there like everybody goes on their you have their to have tears. a little bender you have to bender she I mean, she does them every week yeah. and like we oh say, that's we're not putting that <sighs> in not there. sex Fuck benders that. we're talking about yeah. drinking <laughs> benders I was gonna say drinking <laughs> benders Carl, do you yeah. think you're ready for a relationship now yeah I think so I told Steve you Stephen Kelly's ready to date I'm ladies. ready to date baby are you guys yeah. ready to date boys and no, girls no if you want to get dick down I, I got you but I don't know are you in a relationship I don't know I think you might be I don't know yesterday I said something kind of crazy. You said when I loved you, her when you no, guys were fucked up. No, he said he loved me first. Ooh, that's all it's fucking been a week. alcohol. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trust 100%. me, one hundred percent. I, I don't, I don't, I don't. But if you're happy and he's happy, like just let it ride. You know what I mean? I mm-hmm. said to him yesterday, like, I'd never date him. 
but I was also drunk. Why did you drink that? I, I don't know. I do. I don't know why I said I think I was just mad, and then he rebuttaled, oh, I'm not ready for a relationship. Like I, I honestly, said, slow down with the booze, and you guys will be good. Yeah. I think I think after being in a relationship for five years, the biggest thing that I've realized is that like you don't understand who a person is until you are with them for at least a year to a year and a half. I think a year is a long time. It's a hell of a long time. I know oh, yeah. saying it, but yeah. you have oh, yeah. to realize. Like, At this stage year, in our life? Yeah, that's yeah. I, bro, I'm telling you, man, you have to get to understand who that person is when the times are good, when the times are bad. Everyone acts differently when times are good versus when they're bad. Yeah. I think that, you know, after being with someone a year and, like, you know, again, when it comes to sex and stuff like that, like, things can get weird. They can get lazy in their life, whatever it may be. They might not be as much of a go-getter anymore. I think, like, I think you need a solid year before you really are like, okay, cool, that's someone that I, I really want to date. That's why for me, like, I don't know, like, I was dating anyone right now, pff, no way. I think that, down, but I how long you. have you been single for from your last relationship? Who was your last relationship? Was what's the name? Sarah? Sarah? Is it Sarah? Or Liberty? Is it Sarah? Uh, Liberty was my last serious relationship. Last year, but that was yeah. years ago. No, that was over a year He's ago. Yeah. Uh, but like I know for a fact, like this past year, like for me, like I still think about it. Not every day, you know what I mean. But like there was a time, like a year at least, like you're still fucking getting over that hump you no, know what I mean? honestly, bro. Like at least you, that was for me. I feel like guys take longer to date again than girls do, but I think girls <laughs> check out. Whoa. <laughs> I feel like girls check out before they actually break up with someone, though. Mentally. Yeah. Well, it's because Carly goes from one relationship. <laughs> to the other. Like, what are you talking but about? But, like, Joey left what, on Joey's a type flight. person Car- who literally goes from one relationship to yes. another. Joey left on a flight to Miami, and you posted a picture of Sammy that night. How? The, no, the, it was not. Like, like, how how long day. is your longest relationship? Four though? years. Okay, so that was like a high school slash college? No, college. How yeah, many college. times did you college. cheat whenever he left for the never. weekend? Never. I never cheated. Okay. And he was his dad. Um, his, I'm not going to say him. His dad cheated on his mom. So that was one thing. And that was, I was so loyal. That's cool. I believe that about you. You're very loyal. I'm very so loyal. loyal. Even to your cheat. friends. You're very loyal you to your are. friends. Yeah, I will not. If I, I, will I, not if I said to you, like, yo, that girl's a bit been, been a bitch to me, you'd be like, I never talked to her again. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, Carly would. Yeah, I would. <laughs> Carly would give her shit. Too. Yeah, she would. I'd give her again. shit. Yeah. I'd give her shit for sure. <laughs> Fuck, no one's mean to my, my Nathan. I'm sweating on this chair. Okay, guys, we're at 40 minutes, so it's time to take your tops off. Are you schwitzen? I'm schwitzen. Taking okay. shirts off. What is my, I mean, then we, I want to talk a little bit about fitness because I know guys are going to want to <sighs> oh, ask God. you guys some questions. Should we do? Not should it. we do like all? And Abby all said, three of us awesome. should, "I don't like to keep my shirt off for the entire." Podcast. No, we won't. We'll just do this fitness, and then we're good. I think we have a lot fitness stuff. Fitness, fitness stuff. stuff. Fitness right. stuff. All right, girls. Who are you choosing? <laughs> this is me. This is me. The the, 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 the photo. None of us worked out today. No. This was the training. Like I have THC in my abs. I think right now. THC uh, in your abs. I have like weed in my abs. Is that? A thing? I feel very I'm like. Take my shirt off now. This fucking guy right here. <laughs> yeah, I know. Guys, this is gonna be the. This oh, podcast shit. is gonna. <sighs> Wait, I don't have to take my shirt off, right? Yeah, take it off. Oh, oh, take off. it off. Oh, I think I'm okay. Yeah, I'm fucking my ass. <laughs> I think I'm good. Should I take mine off? Yes. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Wear your bra. I don't have a bra. You can take your shirt off too. I'm not really good at fitness, but I know lots of people are gonna have questions because you guys all look hot. <laughs> so, let's talk fitness. Let's talk Let's talk fitness. fitness. (laughs) 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 What do you think would be like the most common question you get asked? About like your fitness jersey. Obviously obviously the first one is what do you take? (laughs) Okay. First one right off the rip. And what is it? I mean yeah. It's it's just people do it. Let's be transparent. What do I take? I I take Psalms. I take red one for Okay cool. So that's what I take. I don't take anything. I take Protein and creatine. No, but you've never done steroids ever? No. Whoa. You already asked me this, and I already said no, and you were like, shut up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> like, no. I was like, wait, I'm sorry. Did you, are you trying to, do you want me to say I did when I really no, did? No, I, no, I don't want you to lie to me. <laughs> but I've seen your me. fitness journey, bro. Thank like you. two years ago, this kid was fucking skinny. And I did see Four yeah. years ago. Uh, Actually, yeah. you're right. Yeah, five, maybe two, like, two yeah, maybe three, yeah. three years ago. And then uh, I've seen your transformation, bro. And like, I will say this, like, your transformation, this is why we're getting you on Fit Plan app. You're having a call with them this week. I'm letting you awesome, know that. Awesome, let's do that. Because I've seen your like your transformation and just like the 75-day hard, all that shit, bro. Like you fucking are dedicated to the craft. And I think the biggest thing especially is like when I was younger, I took it really, really serious. And then as I've gotten older, I've just kind of like slacked off a little mm-hmm. bit in certain areas. But you still keep it super fucking good. And bro, you, like bro. the amount of mass that you've put on and with the shreds too, bro. Bro, you've had some serious yeah, you guys gains. I'd hug some you right now. Gains. Do you Thank eat you, like bro. a lot? Yeah, you, you, you have know, to. Your shit's, your yeah, shit's we, fucking. What you've done has been awesome. It's been cool. It's been you, cool bro. to see. Honestly, you just try to like you know like it's inspiring. It, you try to just post like positive stuff on your mm-hmm. Instagram these yeah. days, you know, yeah. and like a lot of people, 
it's like whether you have girl followers or guy followers like it might attract like even if it's like 10 people that see your story and get motivated or inspired yeah. like that's all that matters at the end yeah. of the day yeah. it's hard to stay motivated yeah, i can't stay motivated you motivate yeah. me yeah. Yeah. but because i live so, with you all right but. so i should probably say like going back to my things like oh what do you take and, I, and i'll say it's because me i've been training for 13 years yeah. Yeah. right so there becomes a plateau you know i train for th- for fucking 10 years and didn't do anything mm-hmm. and yeah. you just you can't you, you know you hit that you hit something and you're like i just can't i can't do anything so that's why then i started trying something else i'm like yeah. okay i'm gonna I'm take something else and see what happens you can answer it really quick uh, okay yeah so staying all right. motivated all right hang up hang up love you boys we'll talk love to you boys second. um for me i actually read something today and it was it kind of a shit but it was like if you want to stay motivated go look through your uh man's following <laughs> Like who he's following? Oh, seriously! Like, and I was like, follows? "Shit!" And I did that. Ooh, that's toxic. That's, that's true. Toxic. I honestly toxic. follow. I like, literally fuck. follow. I follow athletes. I follow the uh, baddest yeah. of baddest. Yeah. Girls feeds also who are like boss bitches. Like I love Olivia Culpo. I love Camila Cuejo. Yeah. Those girls are fucking Olivia lit. Culpo is special. Exactly, dude. And she's with Christian McCaffrey. Like, bro, Such she did it couple. right, bro. She did yeah. it right. <laughs> but yeah, she's 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 dialed. Do you need your girl to be like a super? Yeah, that's a good question. Fitness, absolutely. not absolutely. influencer. Uh-uh. I was gonna say absolutely. Okay, like, I would prefer absolutely. not to have one. Okay, cool. Yeah. That's yeah. a good question. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I love it. Like hit the gym here and there, but like, oh, fitness. Yeah. No, I'm not. I'm I saying like, like strictly like fitness. Like, nah, you know, she doesn't have to go to the gym honest. every day. No, like, not doesn't like have to wear the gym shot leggings. No, she doesn't of have course, to no. the gym shot leggings. <laughs> gym shot leggings. I don't. I don't want my girl to be fitness. I want her to be like. But mindful healthy. of her body, healthy. That's yeah. Good yeah. Put, I yeah. want her to be M- like Olivia Culpo or Camila Cuejo. Like a boss <laughs> like I, I, I mean, you got to get that tattooed on your chest at this rate. <laughs> I've, I've dated girls where you, like, you go to a restaurant or whatever and they're like, oh no, I can't have the mac and cheese. Oh, fuck, I'll you eat know, everything. Yeah, you're fucking like. I fucking eat chicken wings. Yeah, you know, I can, could you go on a date with a girl and she's like, no, 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 I can't. Like, I, just give me the salad. No. I just can't do it. But you yeah, like, I'll if a girl it. can eat a burger in front of you, you love it. Fantastic. I don't care either way. I don't care what it is as long as they still keep their stomach their stomach tight and like they still or whatever and they're not like, they don't don't chew with their mouth open. Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, chewing cool. with your mouth open yeah. is just They're the not... number one pet peeve. Bro, like, she's, or like Chase's, to Chase's TikTok he posted yesterday. Or trying to yeah. talk. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no. Like a cow eating grass. A cow eating grass. Or if I'm like out and the girl's like eating and then trying to talk with her mouth open, like, no way. Yeah. Of course. Well, table manners. <laughs> no What's, another way, What's another fitness question? I don't know. What's another fitness question? What's something you get asked? Maybe your DM or something? What do we lift? How much do you lift? No, Stuff man. like that. Oh, by the like way, the... what you guys just said about what you guys, like, you don't take anything, you take taking SARMs. I just, I'm about to do HGH. HGH. I'm about to. Huge. I know, I can't. Doesn't HGH. Does it make your ball, does it make your ball smaller? I don't know. No, it I have grows a, you. HGH grows everything. But your, joints. But your balls Doesn't too. HGH makes you taller. Make like sh- not shrink you down, but doesn't it like cut you up? Or am I mistaken? I've, I've never. I don't I've care. I'm about to take it. We'll see. I guess we can use him I'm as starting. A, I'm as starting a on rat. Tuesday. Then, yeah. I just feel <laughs> like I've just like not been dialed in at all lately. So. I think you guys all look great. And that's why, like, I by remember. Halloween, hopefully, us yes. three will be uh, looking great. By Halloween, that's you guys look great now. Yeah. Well, but that's why... It's a so, mental thing. No, you yeah. can always be better. Like, 100%. That's why... So great. girls will say to us... Like, we've had this conversation around girls before, and they're like, oh, you're, you, you all look fantastic. But that's why all of us look at each other, and, like, we make each other better. Yeah. You know, we do, we, we're not saying we look like shit. We look very good. Yeah. We look yeah. very like good, shit, right? but we could be better. Yeah. yeah. You know, you could always look better. And I think that's why we've been rocking with each other because yeah. we yeah. know, okay, yeah, you guys are awesome dudes. But at the end of the day, like, I didn't have friends in the fitness industry. Now you like, have two. And now I have two that, like, yeah. we're in a group chat together. We're sending meals. And I think that's important for other people, like, that are getting into fitness. It does Like, find yeah. people around you that are also, like, very inspired and want to be better. Mm-hmm. Because once you find those people... Those group chats go a long way, like sending yeah. the meals, sending, yeah. all right, yeah. yo, let's get up, let's get after today. Like, those Support little system. messages go I mean, also, way. I'm inspired to get a lot better at Call of Duty, bro. Like, Verdansk, yes, like, so I shit. Yeah, dropping a Verdansk. So Apparently, shit. you're about at Call of Duty. Oh, old, I'm terrible. Bro. I kept, I, so we, we played the other night, I kept flicking my mic, well, calling at home. I kept though, muting it, like, terrible. fuck's sake, he's so shit. <laughs> and I'll be uh, like, and I'll be like, bro, Derek like, starts shooting at us. Like, in the middle of a fight, we're like, buddy, buddy, you're shooting at us. I'm probably better at Call than you. I used to be lit uh, at Team Deathmatch, but like yeah. I don't yeah. play it anymore. You're just kind of you're a little rusty on the sticks, but he, he would take he takes his load out. He takes you his load out, drops it, <laughs> I drop drops my it for a very good, <laughs> for a great cause. I've got one question. Y'all are obviously like super ripped, but have you ever had a Popeyes chicken sandwich? <laughs> Anyway. Yeah, so we, we actually Fuck did yes. a review of it on YouTube. That's crazy. Nathan loves junk food. Yeah, so we, so we love picking it together. Me and Doug wanted to launch a YouTube channel called Two Dudes Rating Foods. 
to drain <laughs> foods. Yeah. You know what's so funny? We used to sit in my truck and just eat food. That's cool. <laughs> I'm not a big fast food person. This year was the first time I ever tried Chick-fil-A and the first time I ever Same. tried a Popeye sandwich. And it was because we were on set shooting F-Boy Island and they had Popeye's chicken sandwiches. I don't know where they got them, but I had one and I was like, yo, this shit's lit. Do yeah. you prefer Popeye's or Chick-fil-A? Uh, definitely Popeye's. Popeye's yeah. too. Same. Popeye's is better. Chick-fil-A, they make you one. do your own sauce. I agree. I've only had it once. That? I might have to go try it now. We have that Popeye's right by we'll the crib. We'll go Popeye's today. I would today. be down right to try both. Yeah. It's good games after We all go do it? Just yeah. go eat Popeye's? I'm yeah. down. Yeah. After yeah, zoo yeah, culture? So, yeah, well, so, so going back to you the fitness thing. You guys are going to zoo culture today, right? If you want to come with us. You want games? I'll come. All right. Cool. Going, going back to the fitness thing. I have to be babysat. What was I, what was I gonna say? Fuck. What angle was it? You know, you know when you're in a group chat with like friends that don't really work out, or whatever, mm-hmm. right? So maybe, maybe they go. You're going out at seven o'clock, and you get a group chat like, "Boys, let's go out now." It's four o'clock, and you're like, "Oh, I really need to go to the gym before we go out." And they're like, "No, no, no, fuck the gym. Just pick it up tomorrow." That's what I hate. Like, I, I would rather someone be like, "Yeah, let's fucking go hit it. Then we'll go out." Yeah. Like, I was always in group chats where it was, "Nah, you don't need to do that today. You tra- do you train yesterday? Yeah, you train. Oh, yeah, you're fine. Yeah. Wait a second. It's like you I woke up split. at eight a.m. <laughs> I was up at like seven thirty, and I texted you guys at eight, and was like, "Let's go to." Zoo. I responded straight away. And you did. Okay, cap, so then how cap, would you? Cap, how would you stay cap, motivated if cap. you didn't have any? Cap. Cap. He was out. <laughs> I slept in today. I woke up still asleep. stoned. I have a question. <laughs> I spoke too much last night. I woke up at eleven thirty. Thirty minutes. How do you guys this. stay motivated if you don't have friends? Then, like, what if someone doesn't have a group chat that they can? We have dark demon minds. I think demon minds. We I'm have demon super. Minds. I'm a, I'm a find really something big... that really gets you going like every day. Whatever that may be, we don't need to share what it is. But I feel like everybody deep down has that purpose on why they want to reach their goals yeah yeah um and i think that's what you need to remind yourself like I why think, are you doing this look, yeah, people, well i think yeah. it, it goes back good. to yeah, i think it goes back to insecurities yeah no offense i think when you were talking about that like the biggest thing for me is like i don't really ever want to be called fat and i also don't ever want to be a failure those are the two things that that like actually like for me would be my biggest insecurities mm-hmm. nothing really else in this world really affects me except those two things and i think the biggest thing was for me like Growing up, I didn't really hit my growth spurt till like senior year of like high school, mm-hmm. and then I started lifting like freshman sophomore year of college. It's the first time I ever started lifting, and I just went crazy. Like, I was eating so much stuff. I got super into fitness, but I think for me it was because like because I was so little, and like I don't know. You go through that phase like as a guy like where you want to be alpha, mm-hmm. and like alpha sure. I had like one of my buddies who in high school was benching like five hundred pounds. Like, this kid was absolutely fucking yak. That sounds like me, Huge, actually. bro. He still puts up 500, bro. He's insane. Intro. And he's littler than you, bro. But, like, for me, it was one of those things where I was like, oh, wait, like, I want to be, like, a man. Also, if, like, you know, again, you see people in college who are getting in street fights all the time. I'm like, well, I want to beat someone up. <laughs> so I went, that, I went through that <laughs> phase of being insecure and being that high school, like, I mean, that college, like, jock douchebag who was, like, walking around, like, I just want to pick a fight just to beat someone up because I'm bigger than everyone. And then I realized, wow, you were really that guy, Garrett. You fucking loser. What the fuck's wrong with you? And then I stopped. I was just an ugly little fucker until like I've I don't shown think you you're ugly. Oh, yeah, I've seen, you I've seen a TikTok that popped up on my shit. And it was like you from the age of like I don't know seven, and then we had one at ten, and then fifteen. I'm like, this dude's looking like a little pussy, dude. <laughs> And then you just like fast forward to like I don't know what you were I don't was know if you were really working out or bad? something, but Bro, like, I was like, holy ugly little fuck, fucker. dude, this dude's a really sicko. Yes. I was an ugly little bastard. I, I thought like you were always a those... good looking dude. No, I look like a squirt, dude. A I was scrub. A, I was a you look like a scrub. I was a scrub. My junior year of high school is when I like actually like started taking football serious and hit, uh-huh. started hitting the weights. You know, I remember I, I saw uh, you on Instagram like five years ago. Really? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. What'd you think? I was. I don't know. I thought you were like obviously attractive. Cool. But I don't know if I DM'd you. I can't remember. I might probably didn't. No. Probably. No, probably. I don't, do. I don't think so. I don't. You do think be so. DMing. You do. No, well, I that's don't. A, that's a whole other podcast. The DM I DM one guy. And here it is. Look at it. Look at now he's now. my boy, and he's they're hooking now up they're dating. Yeah. You know what's funny that you guys all use the word scrum. I wonder why. It's all you say. Just you say it. I don't even know what scrum. I think it's screw hump. Screw hump is what I found on Urban Dictionary. No, it was about. It's actually picking or picking apples. Picking apples. And what about the Uber driver? The Uber driver. I had never ever been into Uber. That was a TikTok. That was that wasn't from me. I ain't never been to no Uber driver. Okay. Well, anyways, I think we're good. I think we finished it all. I have to do an intro. But okay. thanks for coming, guys. A pleasure having us. Thank we're you. gonna go get you Popeyes now. You guys are all now? fucking sexy. Let's go eat and get drunk. Eat, train, train. Eat, train. train. This is what we're saying. That's why you're not in the group chat. No, I should be in the group chat. I need some motivation. Yeah. Anyways. Thousand dollars. Hey guys, it's Carly Lawrence. Thank you so much for listening. I really, really, really appreciate it. If you could leave me a five star review, give me any other comments, anything else you guys want to hear, I really appreciate it. And uh, I love all of you. You guys are the best.